Now, I mentioned mortgage rates. If you want to go get a 30-year mortgage or not going lower as a result of the Fed, what they are priced off of is the 10-year Treasury bond. This is a U.S. Treasury bonds. What's the interest rate on those? And here is that rate going back over the last three years. We highlight a couple things. On the top left, you'll see 5.1%. That is as high as that rate goes. Got, um, in the post-COVID period, came down, got as low as 3.63 and was expecting to go even lower. That's when the Fed did their first rate cut. A lot of people thought, hey, the Fed's cutting rates now. This rate's going to go lower. It did not. It went from 3.6 all the way up to 4.8 at the start of 2025. So mortgage rates went higher. A lot of people didn't understand that. And that's because the 10-year treasury has a lot of other things that impact where it goes. The outlook for economic growth, the outlook for inflation, and generally speaking, how much treasury debt are we having to issue here? What I want to highlight here is that since it hit 4.8 early in the year, it's bounced lower numerous times and it's gotten down right around 4% four different occasions and has not been able to break lower. Here's why that matters. Currently, a 30-year mortgage rate is 6.36%. That's better than the seven it was earlier in the year, but it's not low enough to really help housing really pick up. We need this to go down below 4% to get mortgage rates in the fives, and we hope that happens next year. But first, this... A uh, 10-year treasury rate needs to break below 4%, and you can see that has been a challenge over the last few months.